Sir, leave the area now! This is for authorized personnel only. I'm not going to say this again. Leave now! Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry.
Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, shit, let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking. That probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours. Enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mountain Drive. Hey, my man, where you going? Fine with heels. I'll get you there fast, buddy. You can drop me off, Slick, but I'm up. That ain't fair. A T, baby. I'm just trying to tell you I care about you. You care about yourself. I need someone real in my life. We wasted years on this bullshit and you still the same. I want a family. I need some security in my life. Goodbye, Franklin. <sighs> Shit. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug, and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fool's heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fool's heads, it's asshole's heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs, you know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment, but we don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
That's the ride, my man. Yes. Okay. 